This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. So let's take a look at dimensions and how to set these up. Here we are again at the recent files screen or just sort of that opening screen. Let's go to open and we're going to be looking for an RTE file. And let's take this one right here. This is where we left off, 0203 template imperial complete. So let's just open that one up. That was from our text study that we did. Okay, and let's do a save as. So we're going to do that each time. Save as template. We're going to call this one begin. So that marks where we started. If ever you want to do this chapter again, you can go back and go to that one. So if I go to save as again, and I'll call this one 204, and then this will be complete. Good. Okay, let's get working. Uh, number one thing that I wanted to do, even though we're studying dimensions, I wanted to do something with the text here. And this view is a drafting view. It's something we set up initially in our template. If I look here, we've got this starting view. So what I'd like to do is let's just document as we go what we've done. So I'll use this piece of text. I'll remove the arrow and I'll just move this over like that. And first thing we did was we set up template file. Okay, next thing we did was set up text style or family. And next thing we're going to be doing is setting up dimension style. If you want, you can even add bullets to that, right? So I can just go in here and you can add bullets or you can add numbers and away we go. This will just keep track of what we do. Now that I've done this, let's save. Let's just flip over here to level one. And there's that initial call out that we had made. Let's just draw some walls in here. You know, just something so that we can dimension them. So we'll go, you know, a wall there, to there, to there. Okay, so let's start dimensioning. We're going to go to annotate. And here we have all of our dimension tools. Normally you just use aligned. And if I click on that, we'll just throw in a dimension here. So we'll just click from there to there, middle of the wall to the middle of the wall, and click. So. There's an example of the standard dimension. Again, these are set up to AIA standards. They're not that bad. You wouldn't be wrong to just use them. But there are times when you want to set it up yourself and just have your own style. So I've made a second dimension. This is going to be another style. So I'm going to click on there, go to Edit Type, Duplicate, Dim 1. I like to keep sizes and types out of the names just because if I wanted to change things up in Dim 1, I wouldn't have to rename the name of it as well. So for instance, if I said Dim 1 Arial Text, well, what if I wanted to change it to Stylus Text? Well, I'd have to go back and change the name. It just becomes another place to change it. So that's just my idea anyways. Call it Dim 1. I've seen some other places do that as well. So there's Dim 1. And wow, there's a lot of stuff here. Not as much as AutoCAD, nowhere near as close, but there's quite a few things here that you can control. I'm going to scroll down. Let's start from the bottom and work our way up. So the equality text is if you dimension two things and they're equal, what will it show? And usually it'll put in an EQ. You can just leave that as default. That's fine. Okay, let's just go up here, show opening height. Opening height is just if you dimension a window or a door, it'll actually show the height of the object as well. So that's kind of interesting. Very rarely is that shown on plans in my experience, but that also can be turned on. Let's turn it on just for fun. And we'll just change this to equal. So we'll make some changes as we go. Units format. This is the heart and soul of your dimension. So if I click on this one and I'm going to uncheck use project settings. So we had originally looked at the units dialog box and we had noticed that you can have the project settings just like this. You can set up your standard length to be feet and inches or millimeters or whatever. And if you have this checked, it'll just use whatever's default. Well, we can override that and say, no, I want this to be a metric one. Maybe I want this one to be millimeters. And I don't want any rounding, but I'm going to just put on a unit symbol, which is MM. Okay, and then we'll say OK to that. We'll look at a couple formats as we go. 
The text background is opaque. We talked about that in doing the text styles. So is it going to block out what it's in front of? Usually that's good to keep on with your text on a dimension. The text font, let's keep consistent. We'll go with the stylus BT again. Read conversion up then left, we can leave that. These are small things. Where's the text? How far is it offset from the line? They're all tweaking things that you can do. Text size, so that's a key. I think we went with 5 64ths as our size. Do you want it bold? Do you want italic? Do you want underlined? Do you want it to be slightly less wide? Some people like their dimension text to be you know, quite a bit more skinny than their other text. Some don't, but again, these are things that you can change. Let's just do that much so far. So, so far we've done equal, we've done opening height, we've changed the units format, changed the text. So let's just say, okay, and see what happens. All right, so there's the text. It looks a little far from the line. We're gonna adjust that. Let's just click on it, edit type, and that is found right here under the offset. We'll go with 564 there as well. Okay, so there's one thing. Let's click on that again, and let's put this down the offset. Let's put it at one millimeter, five one twenty eight. See how that went back down? Okay, let's click on edit type again. So, so far that's working out fine. We're adjusting as we go. Let's do that equal thing and the opening height. So we'll put in a window. So we'll go home, then we'll go to window, and we'll just drop a window there. We will be doing a project during this course, but for now we're just concentrating on setting up. Let's just do some sample things in our template. Now it didn't show the opening height on there, why? Well, first of all, that's the wrong dimension style, so let's change the dimension style. So I've clicked on it, then I go to dim one. Ah, now it shows up. Now I'm noticing the ticks are quite large. We wanna change that, so let's just click on this, edit the type, and let's change a bunch of these things here. Let's go to the tick mark right away, diagonal 1 8th. Let's go to diagonal something else, 364. Let's just apply that. Notice what happens? Shrinks right down. Okay, what about the line weight? You want to keep that thin. The tick mark line weight, do you want that really super thick or thinner? Or you can see it's very blobby like that. We don't want that. So we'll probably go down to, you know, maybe 6 is good. I'll just keep hitting apply just so I can see what's happening. Maybe four. Okay, dimension line extension. So how far is this dimension line sticking out? And we can put that to 564 too. Okay, maybe we want to bring that down a little bit. And I'm just switching to metric because, frankly, it's just a little easier. Okay, the witness line gap to element, that's right here. And how far away is that? So if I said it's, let's just go with something big, like eighth inch. And when I say big, that's the printed size. Everything we're looking at here is how big it's going to be on the sheet. That's quite a gap, but you can change that even farther if you want. Witness line extension is this right here. I'm just pointing to it with my mouse. This line is called the witness line. It extends beyond, that's the extension. So I could, again, go one millimeter and apply. Now, you can't see it up here because there's another dimension, but you can see right there it's tucked in quite a bit closer. So we're just focusing on some of the stuff that's really important. Leader type, this is if you drag the text out, you want it to be an arc. Do you want an actual leader or an arrow on that tick mark? Most people don't. Most people like this sort of default setup, but you're free to play with all that stuff. You can have a centerline symbol. This is a good one as well. Just go to centerline symbol, choose centerline. And if you want to put a centerline pattern, that would be the line pattern. You can do that. Okay, let's just see what we've done. We've done quite a bit. Now right here, it's saying that's a centerline because it is, in fact, the center of the wall. So you can have that on a style if you want. Okay, well, we can click on this one. And what I'd like to do is a little equalizing. So I am going to delete that dimension. Then we're going to go to annotate aligned, and that's the dimension tool. You can also type in DI. It's a fast way of doing it. So I'll just go to dim one, go here, to here, to here, and then a final click right to there. So we just equalized where that window was. And let's just change the equal text. Maybe we don't want it to say equal. Maybe we want it to say something else. So 
we can just click on the text and then edit its type and change it to something like EQ. That's just an instance parameter, so that's just one at a time. You can also change it to show the value. You know, you may want to actually show what it is in millimeters instead of saying EQ. Okay, so that's an individual setting for each dimension style. Okay, so we'll just move that up there. And let's just make another style. We're going to duplicate it. We'll call this one DIM2. And what we're going to do is just go in and change the millimeters to feet and fractional inches and suppress zero feet. Okay, with the rounding, we can make it just a little bit more precise at a quarter inch. Okay, the width factor of the text, we're going to just change it a little bit to 0.9 and we can uncheck show opening height and we'll say okay to that okay so now if we edit that type we can just take off that center line symbol because it's kind of getting in the way on this particular one there we go okay good so let's just do a little bit more dimensioning so we're going to go from the end of the wall to the middle of that wall we'll click there and then let's just click on the dimension that we've just made and make sure it's the new style that we make so dim two. Okay, so there we are. There's our dimensions. Now, what you're going to notice is for each type of dimension, for instance, angular, radial, arcs, you're going to need a different dimension style. So you'll have to set, you know, what the fonts are and what the precision is. That's for each one right here. So you can see the angular that I'm clicking on right now. Okay, same thing with radial or arc length. Okay, so we're not really going to get in too deep into those right now. You're welcome to work on those if you'd like. So that's that. Let's just save and move on.